Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium, Bengaluru, welcomes you to demonstrations in astronomy. All of us are familiar with rotation and revolution of the Earth. But our Earth has a lesser known third kind of a motion and that is precession. The axis of rotation of our Earth precesses like this with a periodicity of 26,000 years. A very slow process and that is why this process is lesser known. This precession is a result of gravitational influence of sun, moon and other celestial objects. Let us say this is now in a particular direction and currently we have a star there called Polaris which is our pole star for the northern hemisphere. But Several thousand years later, the axis of Earth's rotation will be pointing to some other direction in the sky. Another few thousand years later, it might be pointing to some other direction. There might be a star in this direction or there might be no star in that direction. But some 14,000 years later, this axis of rotation of the Earth will be pointing towards a star named Vega, which is in the constellation of Lyra. So 14,000 years from now, Vega will be our pole star. There is another interesting aspect that happens due to this precession of the Earth. These two points, which are called as equinoxes, actually they are the intersections of the celestial equator and the ecliptic. So these two points, they do not remain in the same position in the sky. Some 2000 years ago, this point which we refer to as vernal equinox was in the constellation of Aries. But now, that is in the constellation of Pisces. So, these points which are called as equinoxes, they are also shifting. So similarly, these points which are called as solstices, that is the northernmost point of the sun along the ecliptic, and the southernmost point of the sun along the ecliptic also change. So these are the effects of the precession of our earth.